So my name is Amanda McFarland. I'm a public information officer here in District 12. District 12 serves Cuyahoga, Lake, and Geauga counties. We have, when we're fully staffed, we have about 80 snow plows in our fleet, and they'll be working around the clock beginning this evening, so Friday evening, and they'll work until the storm is complete. So we're not really exactly sure yet how much snow we're going to get, but it doesn't really matter to us. No matter how much we get, we're prepared to, to take that on. We have about 40,000 tons of salt on hand here in our district, which is plenty to get us through this storm. It's much less than we've used at, to this point last year. Um, our drivers, like I said, they worked last night, and they're going to be coming in for their new shift, like I said, this evening, and they'll continue working around the clock. Because we're going to be getting so much snow this weekend, our snow plows are going to be doing a lot more pushing of snow. So you're definitely going to see us out there. And when you do, make sure you give those guys plenty of room to work. They're going to be spreading salt and plowing. So stay as far back from behind them. And if, if you need to get around them, make sure you give yourself plenty of room to get around them. When they're plowing so much snow like that, the snow can come up over the top of the plow and create like a snow cloud. And that can take your field of vision away very, very quickly. So that's why we ask that you just give a nice safe bubble, don't crowd the plow, and give them plenty of room to work. Additionally, as a motorist, if you're going to be heading out this weekend, they're saying that the snow could get pretty intense on Saturday. So be cautious with your travels. Only go out if you absolutely need to. And if you do absolutely need to, I would highly recommend checking out our website, ogo.com. That's O-H-G-O.com. You can check out live traffic cameras to get an idea of exactly what the conditions are on the routes that you're going. And also, if there's any incidents, we have our traffic management center that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They're also going to be monitoring the highways, and they'll post about any accidents that happen. And that's kind of all I have. So any questions? All right, well, I guess we'll just start with the fact that the winter started off pretty slow, which was nice, at least for some of us. Sure. It's good. How is that? I mean, do you have more product now because of that, or, or how is that play department preparing for this weekend? Yeah, so the slow winter, really all that's done is it's given our, our guys more time to do the maintenance work on the highway. So if there's any damaged guardrail or any potholes, they can have been able to spend more time doing that routine maintenance work, whereas when we have a very harsh winter, they don't get as much time except between storms to do that kind of stuff. When it comes to our supplies, we have about 40,000 tons of salt on hand now. To date last year, um, or no, we've used, I'm sorry, try that again. To date, we've used 25,000 tons of salt. So <clears throat> um, I'm getting this all backwards right now. Try again. So to date, okay. Yes. So to date, we've used 25,000 tons of salt. This time last year, we'd used 49,000 tons of salt. So you can see there's a pretty big difference in the amount of supplies that we've used. Out of all of our facilities, we can hold approximately 60,000 tons. So having 40,000 tons on hand to start this storm is, is well enough salt for us. Yeah, sure. So we pay, do pay attention to the air temperatures, but most important to us is the pavement temperatures because what we're treating is the surface. So our salt is effective up to pavement temperatures when they get down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Once they reach that, we then add additives to the salt like calcium chloride to aid in the de-icing process. It increases that freezing point of water and gives us a better chance to be able to keep those roads free and clear of the ice. Maybe just, Amanda, is this, yeah. is this one of those events where... You, you have shifts, but do you guys really, is this going to stress the personnel a little more since it's been such a soft winter so far? Not at all. This, this kind of weather is exactly what our employees live for. It's what they want to do. They so enjoy plowing snow. I've, I don't think I've met any of our employees that are like, oh, another storm. You know, they, they get amped up about it because they really enjoy seeing what happens once they end their shift or during their shift you know I, I was able to get that lane cleared or you know when I started the left lane wasn't clear and by the time I was done I was able to clear all the way from right to left you know they, they take a lot of pride in what they do and the safety that they're giving to the motoring public while they're doing it um, like I said we do operate in the 12 hour shifts so the crews get 12 hours on 12 hours off plenty of rest for them and, and they always come back in energized and ready to go and virtually every truck will be out I guess when there's an event of this nature? Yeah, so we have, we'll have 80 plows operating in Cuyahoga Lake and Geauga counties. We do have a couple of spares in case anything does break down during the storm. Uh, so we have a couple extras on hand, but we'll have 80 operating. Uh, could you answer this? Uh, to talk to her when you answer? Yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, could you talk a little 
little bit about uh, me, just as a general motorist. The, the, uh, as, we, as we understand it, the, um, the, the snow's going to come down. It's going to come down quick. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, talk about what that's going to be like for us. I mean, y'all are going to be doing certain streets first and then, and then going to other streets. So, yeah, so the Department of Transportation, we are responsible for interstates, state, and U.S. routes outside of incorporated areas. So we actually don't do any of the snow plowing on your local city streets. That's entirely up to the local municipalities or, in some cases, the local county engineer's office. So our crews have their routes that they're assigned to. Each snowplow operator is given a specific route, and they will stay on that route unless otherwise designated by their manager. Uh, that there's you know hard hitting snow in another part, then they can move, and that's what's really nice about how all of our crews work together. And as you know, districts where District 12, District 3, and 4, you know, but we all work as one ODOT when it comes to storms like this. And if we need to expand and move crews, you know, to try and help in other areas, we we have that ability, and it's really great. Yeah, so we, we have in all of our trucks here in District 12, we're equipped with GPS. So we always know exactly where our trucks are located. And so if we know that there's a hard, you know, it's hitting harder up in like the 271, 90 area in Euclid, you know, we can see, okay, we've got a truck on 90 closer to downtown. Why don't we shift that guy a little bit more to the east so that he can help out there in that Euclid Spur area? So that's a, the great way that we can utilize that tool. You know, we've got radios in the trucks, so our managers can constantly be talking to them, but having that GPS, it, it makes it a lot quicker. And uh, again, as a motorist, um, what should we, how should we, we as motorists, uh, be prepared for this? Because, uh, you know, in case there is an accident, in case something else is going on, uh, what, what should we have in our, the back of our minds? Yeah, if you do plan on heading out this weekend, I would just advise you to use a lot of caution when traveling. They are expecting the snow to intensify Saturday and through Saturday and possibly into Sunday. So just be prepared. I'll allow a lot of extra travel time. Take a look at our website, OGO, where you can view the live traffic cameras. You, that way you'll know exactly what you're going to encounter when you go out there. I know every day before I leave work, even on a good day, I will still sometimes check the traffic cameras and check OGO to see if there are any accidents, incidents, or things I need to know about.